right, all right, all right. What is up? Today it is the 25th of May 2023 and we are in Crete and we are in Katuguves. Yeah, we are in Katuguves. This is the day for Katuguves. And right now I am at the port of uh, Katuguves. Actually, Katuguves has not one port, it has like one port which is uh, close to the Crete Aquarium and uh, close to the old uh, American military base and then we have some apartments uh, in the area and here we have like a bay in this area I, I already can see from the quality of the water uh, it could be a good option for snorkeling and then we have a street which I haven't explored ever before I don't know if I would drive the street where it's gonna take me probably to Gurnes and to Kukini Hani. Yeah, so I don't think if I would run all over this place I could show you that much. Uh, what I easily can do is to fly the drone at this segment of the video. Don't worry, we are going to be uh, to the like the main uh, street of Katuguves, which is not too far from here, but it is like about uh, one or one and a half or two kilometers. I will have to drive there, okay? But in this segment of the video, I'm gonna fly uh, the drone and I'm gonna capture this whole area, the Kriti Aquarium, the beach in front of the Kriti Aquarium, the port, and also this little bay in this side, okay? To give you an overview. And then we are gonna continue our trip toward the center of or the main uh, busy area of Katuguves and we are gonna explore that area uh, by walking and also by flying the drone, okay? And if you already like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Aquarium which is located in Kato Guves. We are driving towards the very center of Kato Guves. Yeah. I could have walked this whole distance but uh, today my plans are a little bit different because uh, uh, the weather is not gonna be good in the coming days so I have to rush a few videos to have it uh, prepared for the channel and in the right side that's the Kriti Aquarium I can see they have a canteen there yeah and here we have a young man selling fruits and vegetables yeah. and as you can see some even kids are walking the whole distance from one from place A to B And those of you who are renting these quads and these uh, 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 sport motorbikes, you can do really good things here in this area because it is off-road and you can really go crazy. And we have uh, Greta camping in this area in front of us. Some people are just camping out of the Greta camping. Like over there, I can see. 
they are camping and they seem like gypsies to me and this is Kreta camping Guvis is a very nice place, very very nice place and you can walk the whole distance from Kukini Hani to Guvis back to Kukini Hani these kind of activities they are so healthy and so nice and this is Kreta camping over here Okay, so now we are close and uh, we are gonna be getting to explore the Katuguves. This area seems to me like a nice corner to stop the car and then start walking towards Kotaguvis. What would have happened? What would have been missing from the world if uh, the past days were like this and the coming days were like this? Look at this. Look at this shallow beach of Kotaguvis. I mean, come on. Unbelievably shallow and unbelievably clean. Perfect for kids, perfect for families. I mean, like you can snorkel around this area. You can just get into the beach from anywhere you want. Come on, look at this sun. And there is almost 0% wind. We want a weather like this for Kiriti. Come on, hands up everybody. Prayers for uh, good weather in Kiriti. <laughs> okay. Okay, so first thing first. I have left the car here, you see? I have left the car here. I will make sure it's locked. I will be walking the whole damn distance, going, uh, exploring the whole area. And I will be walking back to the car. I guess I deserve a coffee. So my Patreon account link and my PayPal account link in the description. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, let's explore Katugovis. And those of you who wanted me to make a video, this is the day. And don't worry, at the end of the video, I'm gonna fly the drone in this area and I'm gonna explore the hack out of this area with the drone and I will give you the best perspective and the best overview, you know? Now I'm getting, I'm warming up and I'm getting like there, you? Yeah. My mood, my mood was a little bit down in the morning because I was kind of thinking that the weather is gonna be unstable, extremely unstable. But it kind of, uh, the weather went nice and now my mood is elevated. Like everybody else's mood, okay? Yeah. So at the very beginning, we have here uh, a bar, a takeaway coffee shop, and they also serve food. Yeah, right in front of the beach. If you were renting one of those, then that area, like the old base of uh, American Army, that's a very good off-road area to kind of push this uh, monster, you know? not in a place where there are pedestrians when there is public, you know. Go off-road, uh, explore your abilities to the limit.
two sun beds and one umbrella in this area is for six euros. Yeah, just keep that in mind. When I was a child, when I used to like hold a wood stick in my mouth, my uncle used to tell me like, don't do that because it's gonna make you stupid. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, the whole beach is uh, full of people and we have also some water sport going on in the other end of the beach, some jet ski, yeah, and we have also a bay watch uh, working here, looking, and uh, yeah, and they are advising here no jumping and no diving in this area, so keep that in mind. Other than that, look at the water here. Okay, so we have some of the cleanest, crystal clean water. Anybody who is obsessed with crystal clean water, leave a comment. We have it here and the beach is very shallow. And as you can see, that's why also the kids can play here. It seems pretty much to me like a, a family friendly area. Everybody is uh, swimming in a very calm, calm uh, mood and not uh, anything crazy going on even we don't have any music that's good for me and somebody who left this here that's not a good idea we should be not leaving trash uh, around the sea and around the beach keep that in mind okay so yeah anybody who have done this uh, he is saying I'm sorry I'm not gonna repeat it again and that's uh, called being a good boy <laughs> And, and, and if you are someone who notices something like a trash or, or like a plastic bottle or whatever on the beach and the moment that you are leaving, it's very easy to grab it with yourself and kind of participate on keeping this world and this beautiful Crete island a, a beautiful place, a clean place. Yeah, you can contribute, believe me. And here we have like a four-star hotel beach. They have swimming pool, they have taverna, they have bar, they have everything, yeah. So that's a good thing. Some people, they just keep their travels simple. They want to come a place like this, want to have all the services, want to come to the beach, get some sand and uh, fly away. Look at this bad boy. You may want to try this in some uh, in some off road. Yeah, not on the road. Come on. Look at that. It looks like a beast. It is made for an off road uh, experience. Maybe I will ask my friend on Stalis to give me one of these, and I'm gonna show you how to drive these things. Yeah. And if you want to be a passenger next to me, then let me know in the comment section. Yeah, I can take you for a ride.
Ja. And this part of the beach is even more sophisticated, even more organized. I mean, like if if sand was something that human beings could eat, this has the type of cleanest sand and the finest sand that you would want to eat it. Yeah. So they also have volleyball nets, which is also an amazing thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I would like. To play volleyball most of the time in the early morning and in the afternoon not under the sun yeah but i remember playing volleyball in the sun yeah and most of the time you will bet money as well <laughs> this one here marina hotel seems to me like a very full one, it's already booked, there are already too many tourists uh, visiting this place and uh, yeah, maybe they had some good deals, some good offers. It makes the peep area feel warm when there are m m more people, yeah, and also the day is kind of warm today, which is a perfect day to be out and to be at the beach. And this is sold by Melia Marina Beach. Who knows what that means? But this also exists here. Yeah. I am kind of scared of these big hotels to enter in the corridors and everything. I rather just put a tent somewhere on the beach and spend the night instead of getting into these luxurious places you know i'm kind of used to the nature okay personally it's my personal opinion i'm not a hotel hotel guy and resort guy okay i'm a kind of person that who likes at maximum uh, first, my to-go option is uh, uh, camping, uh, like uh, in, like finding a place, just parking the car and spending the night in the car. That's my first to-go, being at the nature and somewhere at the beach. Secondly, if I need like a shower and I need uh, to treat uh, myself a little bit, then camping place is the second option. And if I am really, really trying to spoil myself, then uh, staying in an, uh, on an Airbnb is my third option. Hotel? I don't think so. Ever be. Will be an option as long as there is camping places and as long as there is there are Airbnbs. So let me hold on here a little bit, show you. This is Taverna Zurbas. And they have also one side just right in front of the sea. They, they, it's, they are offering like ice cream, they are offering cocktails and every everything that you want. And uh, yeah, if you are wondering about this place, this is open and you can come here and you can have a good time. And look at these quads here. Oh, we have a riddle company over there. That's why they are parked here. Don't worry about the overview. I'm gonna give you a good overview with the drone. Yeah, for at the moment, let's enjoy walk. Ja, 
dat weet ik wel, maar... First time ever I swam on uh, Cretan Sea, it was in Malia. And second time I ever got into water in uh, Crete Island, it was here in Katugoves. It was this beach, yeah, yeah. This was this beach, I will never forget. Yeah, I really loved it. And here we have the, the train. I don't think it's a bad idea to try this train. It's gonna give you a whole tour of the whole area. And uh, I hope they are also giving, yeah, I guess they are adding information as well. So you will get to see everything just on the train. Peace! <laughs> yeah. yeah. And maybe one time, sometime in the coming days or in the, coming weeks I will jump into one of these and show you the whole tour okay so if you are somebody who wants to sponsor that trip then go ahead and uh, the PayPal account link in the description and add a message for the train trip uh, for the train trip and I'm gonna do it for you yeah yeah so this was the uh, second ever beach that I got into the waters in uh, in Crete Island. Yeah, this was this beach, baby. This beach. As you can see, the beach is pretty shallow and we have a small little part of the beach as a port and uh, the rest is like the beach. It's very calm and it's very shallow. That's why also uh, the families are preferring to come here. And uh, the beach itself is really, really quiet. I guess the only person who is the loudest is uh, me. Yeah. So if you were, if you were waiting to see this, and then uh, there you go, you have it. Oh boy, it is getting hot. Yeah. It's not a good idea to wear pants and then walk this distance. There is music being played in this bar. I have to be talking about something in order to not get a copyright claim. Yeah. So of course, if you were uh, planning on visiting Crete Island and if you were thinking about if you could book some place to stay uh, at Govis, then yeah, Katu Govis, go ahead confidently book uh, your stay here. And if you are staying in the other places in the area around, then I can uh, confidently say if you would come here to spend some time, 
to be at this beach or another beach or just explore this this uh, street is pretty much drivable and a long long distance then you can do that just be creative be 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 somebody who explores be a wanderer whenever you are traveling okay yeah Okay, so we came uh, from here and uh, we just could continue walking uh, at this uh, destination, okay? But it's just a street, some coffee shops, taverns such as this one here. You could go uh, for a run in the morning, take this uh, seafront uh, side street of uh, Katuguvis. It is so good, it is so good to run in the morning or in the evening uh, on this street. Yeah, you are gonna love it absolutely, but we are gonna walk this street to go. There is like a, a area where there are like some gift shops and then there are these bars and everything to see what's going on there. Yeah, so I'm gonna start the video when I'm a little bit closer to that area. We are right at the very center of almost Katu Guves. As you can see, we have the OK car uh, rental company here, and we have uh, speed car and moto, another car rental company in this area. And then we have over there like a, a supermarket. Uh, it sells almost everything that you need. Yeah, so let's let's walk, take a walk through this street. <laughs> okay, it's very uh, obvious that at this time of the day nobody's gonna be here walking uh, under the sun but me okay i'm kind of in a rush to get some videos done and and prepare some videos because there is a possibility that the weather is gonna change and it's gonna start raining again yeah today it is the 25th of may and tomorrow the 26th is kind of uh, predicted like that and the 27th is also predicted something like that so that's the goal but still we have uh, some people uh, outside trying to eat and trying to do their thing yeah and here we have a very beautiful sport car over here it looks so beautiful yeah
I guess if you have the question to what if I come to Govis, how it's gonna be? Believe me, my friend, my brother from another mother, <laughs> my sister <laughs> from another mother, okay. Uh, the weather is warm. Uh, I feel like if I would, I feel, I'm feeling like if I was, if I would have walked, which I did already walk this much, I'm feeling like going to the sea and kind of swimming, uh, cooling myself down. So if you are somebody who is thinking about coming and uh, thinking about if the services are open or if services are not open or if you can go to the sea or cannot go to sea you pretty much can go to the sea and all the services are open and imagine this area everybody is out here eating and uh, having a good time yeah peace brother <laughs> Yeah, so everybody's mood is elevated. Yeah, the only person who needs a coffee is me. <laughs> we say kame mo karami shomo. I guess you have seen pretty much uh, of Guves and what's going on here. Now it is time for me to go back to the car and fly the drone, capture some epic shots. Yeah, so. Hope you liked the video and it was helpful for you. If it was, then give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts, recommendations in the comment section. Yeah, and if you want to support me, support the channel. My PayPal account link and my Patreon account link is in the description. And uh, if you are already having a good time, consider subscribing. Other than that, until the next time, peace.